Back now with the 11-year-old boy who was bitten by a bull shark while snorkeling in Florida. He and his family are speaking out for the first time about the attack and his recovery. Victor Kendo is in Miami Beach with the story. Good morning, Victor. Good morning, George. It's been less than a month since the attack, and for the time being, Jameson is using a wheelchair to get around, but he is not letting that slow him down. When we met him, he was actually playing hide and seek. His family is deeply rooted in faith. His father is a pastor, and he calls his son's survival a miracle. I'm happy to be alive, and that nine-foot bull shark should have, have taken me down. Eleven-year-old Jameson Reeder Jr. telling his story for the first time this morning after he was viciously attacked by a bull shark in the Florida Keys. Part of his leg amputated. Now, after three weeks in the hospital, his family speaking exclusively have, with ABC News. Uh, we, we shouldn't have our son. He, he should not be alive through what he's gone through. <clears throat> and the fact that he is, is just, you know, a reminder of how short life is and how fragile life is. It was a beautiful day in the Florida Keys. The readers on vacation from North Carolina were boating, exploring coral reefs, snorkeling. Just clear, calm water and just love being on the water, you know, our whole lives. We've been around and on the water. Jameson Jr. was snorkeling with a pool noodle when the unimaginable happened. When did he know something had gone so wrong? He was in the back of the boat and James was off to the side and he just started screaming. He was just screaming and um, waving his arms and I needed to just, I didn't see anything in the water. I just saw him there screaming at me to get to him. His parents pulling him onto the boat, his leg severely wounded, but somehow Jameson kept his composure and his faith. He looks into my eyes as I'm holding him, just like this in front of me. He says, Daddy, Jesus is gonna save me. The race was on to save little Jameson's life. You can see the bone, it's a pretty big bite. We've already put a tourniquet around his leg and we're wrapping towels around it. The readers desperately flagging down nearby boats for help, a stranger coming to the rescue. She jumped out of her boat and began to swim to our boat. She gets on our boat with a dry bag of like marine medical first aid and just begins to go to work. But there was only so much she could do. The family flagging down a faster boat nearby to take Jameson Jr. to an ambulance. And I said, go save my son's life. I kissed him on the forehead, not knowing if I'd ever see him again. Jameson and his mom made it to the mainland where he was airlifted to Nicholas Children's Hospital in Miami, taken right into the operating room. Jameson undergoing four surgeries, even celebrating his birthday at the hospital. The staff at Nicholas surprising him with his favorite, a Star Wars BB-8 cake. Now as he begins his long recovery. He's stronger than I, I could ever be after that. He's just the positivity and his faith. Jameson learning how to use a walker the pain still present. At times during our interview, he squeezed his stuffed animal named Hedgie when he'd feel a sharp sting in his leg. When I squeeze, some, the pain goes away. For this incredibly outgoing and active boy who loves playing baseball, he's willing to do whatever it takes to heal while still coming to grips with his new reality. I want to be a no normal kid. You are a normal kid. You're just gonna, it's gonna take some time to heal and get back to doing some of the stuff you love to do. That's it, man. So he perked yeah. right up when asked about eventually being fitted for a prosthetic. Yes, getting my prosthetic, getting in the ocean. I want to get back in, in the ocean. He's now well on his way. Can you tell me what it was like when you finally got out of the hospital after spending three weeks there? What was the first thing you did or said? Um, I'm back. Jameson will have more surgeries down the road, but if anyone can handle it, it's him. When he was still in the hospital, he called his father and told him he wanted to go back to the reef where the attack happened so that he could face his fears. George, he also made sure that his mother wasn't listening to that phone call. I'll bet he was. Okay, Victor, thanks very much. Wow. Such a special little boy. Mm, yeah. We'll be right back.